Hello everyone, my name is Ahmed and I am very happy to be here. Um, and today I'll talk about my academic workflow inside Emacs. So the main needs that I have is to keep up with the current research in my field and uh, to be able to take notes and write um, and, and use these notes later in writing my papers uh, inside Emacs. And Emacs is a great program for this because it is very extensible and uh, we can uh, basically write whatever we are missing. Uh, and it replaced my earlier uh, proprietary workflow that involved using Mendeley and Visual Studio Code and, and, and many other tools in order to do uh, the things that I'll show today. So uh, the first concern that I have is to keep up with new papers. And to do that, I use this uh, package called Elfeed. So Elfeed is basically just an RSS reader. And here I fetch all the papers that I need from archive, which is the main source of papers in, 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 in my field and many other uh, scientific fields. And uh, uh, it allows me to view these papers with uh, the abstracts and so on. And uh, in order to simplify uh, viewing uh, and, and searching for relevant papers, uh, I use this other package called Elfeed Score. And Elfeed Score uh, assigns, it enables me to assign a numerical score like this to each of the archive entries. And this numerical score is very simple. It's just based on matching uh, things. So for example, um, we can ask uh, we can ask Elfeed to explain this. So if we say equal x, then this just says that uh, this has this matches three rules for a score of seventy six. This paper, and this is simply because I am searching for these keywords that are very interesting to me, such as uh, neural networks or federated learning. Um, and now, uh, if I see uh, a paper here that I am interested in, let's say I'm interested in this paper about Gaussian process inference, then I want to store it in my local library. So I want the PDF and I want to be able to cite it in the future. And to do that, I use a package called OrGraph that has, um, that allows me to uh, fetch papers from archive. So here I wrote a helper function, this Elfeed entry to archive, that automatically gets this paper. It asks me where to put it, and it completes with my default libraries. And then it fetches the paper from archive and places it in this folder. It also places it in my bibliography uh, file, which is written in, in Bibliotech. Now, um, so here, if we search for this paper now, we find that it is in our, in, in, in our library. And this library interface is from a package called CTAR or CITAR. And uh, I have customized it quite a bit to display all of the papers in my library uh, in, in this format. And uh, this, this just reads from a bit bibliotech file. So if we open it like this, you'll see that this is the this is the, the, the entry that it placed. And um, one of the interesting things here is that uh, OrGraph actually doesn't really fetch all of the entries in this in this format. And moreover, I want all the entries in my file to look quite similar and to have like this very similar look. And the way I accomplish that is by using several tools and, and chaining them. So in order to see this, so here, this is, this is the function that I use to, uh, to, to, this is basically run as a hook after each time uh, Emacs modifies the bibliography file. And it runs uh, Reviber, which, uh, gets the conference versions of, of, of papers that I fetch from Archive, because Archive is a preprint directory, 
and then Viber normalizes the archive file um, to 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 have a consistent look. And then I apply just some substitutions which I uh, like more. And finally, I have the whole thing under version control. And this function, reformat bib library, I make it into a hook and I run it every time after I save. And it just checks if the current buffer is the main bib library, we will just reformat the library. This allows me to keep the library looking all consistent like this. Uh, by the way, all of the code is available. You don't have to get it from the video. I will attach it as a GitHub gist. Um, now, um, one of the things that are really important is that I want to be able to keep notes on papers that I read. So, for example, here are some of my existing notes. And now let's add a note to the paper that we just got. So the, the pipeline here is that I use CTAR with Embark, uh, which is another library, but you can use any other uh, library just for completion and acting upon completion like IV. And I ask it to open notes and then it asks me how to capture it. So these capture templates are handled by the orgrom package, which is a very, very interesting uh, package for note taking. And uh, orgrom, among other things, it allows us to write linkable notes in org mode. And moreover, it, uh, it, it is very extensible. So there is another package called orgrom biptech that allows us to attach these notes to bibliography files, which is what I'm doing right now. So for example, I set up the capture template such that uh, when I press S for short bibliography reference, um, it will uh, make a new headline in, in my reference notes uh, note, and I can write things here. So for example, seems interesting. And then uh, note here that it added this paper to Rome refs. So this means that uh, uh, wh when I look at these papers using CTAR, it will be able to find this note. And similarly, we can also add long form notes. So for example, if I do this and I add R, it will create an entirely new file that I can take uh, detailed notes in. Um, the strengths of Orgrome is that I can do things like linking papers. So for example, here are several books that I am reading, and this file just um, uh, collects these books so that I can find them for easy reference. And of course, I can link these files from inside. So you can see here that I also use OrgSite um, to, to, to cite other files, and I can act upon this and open the notes corresponding to this other to this other book. Uh, so I am a little short on time, so I cannot go into detail on everything, but I will share my configuration, and I hope that this will inspire other people to also use Emacs for their academic workflows. Thank you so much.